So when you think of it, you know, think of what, what you're saying. Okay, what do you have? You could have mycotoxins, you could have allergy exposure, you could have the underlying gut dysbiosis, you could have infections. We're seeing it a lot after the pandemic with the virus. You know, you can have Lyme, tick-borne illnesses, chemical toxicities. We have even stress and anxiety. So there's all these things that are stacking up. So you're having all these exposures. Your immune system's handling it for a while. Okay, I can handle this. Now I have this layer. Now I can handle this. Okay, now I, and we get to a point where it's just like, enough, basically like enough. I'm starting to be angry. I'm starting to react to everything. And so what we start to have these overactive mast cells and they start to release all of these granules. And then you start to get things like skin rashes, hives, itching. We can see headaches and migraines, fatigue, dizziness, heart palpitations. Then we have all the GI symptoms like the nausea, the bloating, the diarrhea. We can have weight changes, brain fog, cognitive problems, neuropathy, tingling, shortness of breath, allergy symptoms. We can see hormonal changes um, actually with mast cells. Estrogen actually also is another thing that signals mast cells to release. So there is actually a receptor. So high levels of estrogen can be a problem. Then we, you know, can signal some of these things, joint pains, anxiety, depression. So it's it's all of these symptoms where, you know, when you're looking at breast implant analysis, you're looking at a lot of the same symptoms. So right. it's it, there's crossover. And so sometimes I, I think people will be having issues with their mast cells and not even realizing that this is what's going on because a lot of their symptoms cross over with symptoms from other things too that maybe are being talked about a lot more.